This is with us and intellectual business community. We continue our discussions today with uh, Mr. Paulus Ranto, the CEO of Indobuana Auto Raya, which is the auto uh, distributor for Volvo cars in Indonesia. And uh, our topic is the leadership in a permanent crisis. And from the first segment we talked with uh, Pak Paulus, he mentioned that since the first day he was uh, titled as the CEO, the company is in crisis every day. <laughs> Up to now, uh, he managed to uh, go through this crisis for, uh, I think, uh, four years. So it becomes, you know, that uh, Paulus has been able to bring this company survive through the crisis. And uh, what we learn from this article is that Persons are, you know, sometimes they are warned by crisis at the emergency phase. So at the emergency phase, they put a lot of attention. They know this is the crisis, and then they put their best effort to deal with the crisis. But then, uh, after a while, they think that this crisis is uh, becoming less, and then be they become relaxed, even though the the threat is still there and still dangerous but the you know the attitude towards the crisis because they are already uh, going through the, the emergency phase they think the, the 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 danger is not as dangerous before so they took relaxed uh, approach that is uh, even <coughs> more dangerous to the company because uh, the same dangers are treated with the uh, you know less efforts. Uh, that, did it happen also in 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 Volvo? Never. 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 So every day people are in high alert. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we know, but in the 2009, mm -hmm. because of the financial crisis in 2008, <coughs> 2009 was a very difficult situation for uh, financing. Mm -hmm. And we know that uh, many cars are financed by leasing. Yes. And uh, we heard that many car dealers are having problems selling their cars because they don't have the enough financing for the customers. Mm -hmm. uh, did your company, the Indo Buana Autoraya, experience the same problem? Um, fortunately, not. Fortunately not. Fortunately not, because Volvo customers are different. Uh -huh. They don't need financing to, to buy Volvo. Okay, they pay yeah. cash. Um, they have a source of fund. They, okay. they have um, either cash, either installment, one or three months, something okay. like that. Or uh, if they would like to finance it, they uh -huh. have their own source of fund, like from the banks. Uh -huh. and they have their own uh, uh, banks, uh -huh. like. so it doesn't really, it didn't. Really affect. So your performance in 2009 stable, stable. Yes, and it means that you are getting ahead of your competitors because your competitors are having problems with it. Uh, in terms of not having crisis because of the financial crisis, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. But uh, in terms of the volume, no, of course not, because we are we are small uh -huh. compared to them. We are we are small. Yeah, uh, relatively that you are gaining more market shares because the others are dropping down and you're yeah, stable. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh, uh -huh. And but the market has uh, never been problem because you you know the market is you know not big but stable. Mm. But then uh, the other side is problem. The crisis is on the other side, the operation operational side. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's always been like that. Yeah. Always been like that. <laughs> so I mean, <coughs> over four years, you have dealing with these operational problems. Mm -hmm. You know, while market is something often out of our control because you know the market, the market. Sometimes we cannot dictate the market, mm -hmm. but operation actually is in our hands mm -hmm. of how we are going to do the business. Yes. Yeah. So what? What are the what we call the obstacles for you to, you know? To, to change the operations so that it's not in a crisis anymore. I mean, the, it takes you so, so many years to deal with the crisis, which is actually 
in your hand, in your control, to to change it. Mm-hmm. So it could be there are some problems that not in your control it, uh, that you cannot change it, so that you can have this permanent crisis. Is that uh, what the experience? Uh, first of all, it's uh, it's the the models first. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, first and foremost is the model. The model of the models of Volvo in in this case. All right. Yeah, because and then uh, in 2000, year 2000, Volvo has changed the model uh-huh. model completely. Now become more trendy rather than boxy at the yeah. time. You know? But uh, the remaining problem at the time was the price, the car itself. Uh-huh. Because prior to crisis, prior to uh-huh. 1998, uh-huh. Uh, we were doing um, uh, completely knockdown operation. Uh-huh which enabled us to compete in, in, in the pricing sector. But after we are doing a CBU, a completely built up operation, then the competitiveness, price competitiveness is, is not there anymore. Mm-hmm. Because Volvo is expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, they maintain their heritage, they, they know their value, then they, they don't want to compromise on that. But when was it? Uh, 2000. Year 2000? Year 2000, yeah. Okay. When, when they changed the, the model. Uh-huh. After they changed the model, actually the, 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 the unit itself mm-hmm. is, is very expensive. Yeah. So, um, okay, we, we have to operate on that. And number two is to close down that, that showroom. Yeah. Number two, to close down the showroom is not also easy. Because we, have, we had to ask for agreement, really, mm-hmm. from, from Volvo. All right. Also, yeah. And thirdly, we we did uh, financial restructuring, so mm. we did a uh, inject a capital, mm-hmm. uh, and then we also under undertook some other business mm-hmm. in order to to survive the operation. Okay. So you 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 take more uh, other business. Mm. to support this operation yes all right so if you say that the model the price competitiveness was happening in 2000 while you took place your position in 2006 yes actually it was you know your company has been conditioned to that and the projection of sales has been adjusted to that Mm -hmm. yeah so actually it's uh, already uh what do you call it taken conditions Mm -hmm. yeah there's nothing um changing about that mm-hmm. yeah. but then uh, it took you so many I think three three four years yeah, dealing with uh, internal restructurings yeah what did you do to, to, to do that I mean in this article it's mentioned that uh, first you have to foster adaptations yeah that uh, you know uh, People are becoming adaptive to to this new, you know, day-to-day uh, crisis, and then you have to uh, embrace this equilibrium while people are get used to the crisis. They not becoming uh, stressful, but on the other side, they also not become, you know, relaxed. So you maintain the the the, the alertness, the certain uh, level of alertness, and then the third that. Uh, you have to generate leadership in the terms of you uh, involve more you invite more involvement from your subordinates in making decisions Mm -hmm. did you do any of this? oh yes Uh, (coughs) we we need to get uh, buy-ins from the internal organization Uh from the employees Uh Uh, we need to get them understand and to to increase their sense of belonging mm-hmm. about about this company, and to uh, to reduce the personal pride mm-hmm. if you like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because uh, I also have my personal pride of uh-huh. course. Uh-huh. Right? Uh, I used to sell cars like 200 units per month uh-huh. before, and then now I have to to do it in 120 maximum a year. Uh-huh. So that that is something and then we um, I also told the organization that the most important thing is to survive mm-hmm. and to preserve the the heritage the value mm-hmm. of, of Volvo mm-hmm. 
-hmm. and we know our customers very well mm -hmm. so we maintain our relationship with them we we did i mean i think uh, in terms of relationship so far uh, as i i work as in in, in automatic business this is this is the the best relationship mm -hmm. i would say uh, and now also i i took a little bit change in in how we supply uh, the units now we we give the customers uh, flexibility to choose their own car mm -hmm. yeah flexibility to choose their own car and then we order to them uh, to 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 see um, them pre-order so, yeah so we maintain uh, inventory level is very very uh, small mm -hmm. uh, that means that uh, you also prolong the delivery time uh, yes a bit. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, all right. And they understood. I mean, the, the okay. customer understand about that. Okay, uh, we want to know more how you can increase the sense of belonging of the people in your company and to lower down the pride of the people because that's the principles. But how you do it is another story, right? Yeah. So we want to know more about that, but uh, in the next segment because, uh, again, we have to have a little break. For you who wants to give comments or questions to this program, to this uh, topic, you can SMS to 0896 times 788 and we break for the next segment.